Have you been looking for a replacement text messaging app for your Android device? I may have just found the app for you. If you find the font is too small on your default messaging app, or perhaps the colors just don't work with your visual impairment, you will love this app. It, you can customize everything under the sun and it's coming right up. Low on vision, high on tech. Circle of the blind mice.com. <laughs> Everybody, it's Tammy, your friendly neighborhood blind mouse that likes to babble about technology. And I have finally found the ultimate text messaging app that meets the customizability that I have been searching for. Although the default app on Samsung is actually quite good, the font is perfect as far as size goes. You can choose a bunch of different fonts and you can customize it a little bit as far as the, the bubble color goes. You really don't have a lot of options as far as customizability, as far as the colors go and whatnot. So, I've been looking for an alternate app in case I ever decide to get a Nexus for my next phone because Google Hangouts just totally blows to be quite frank <laughs> because the font is too small, it's just not customizable enough and it just, uh, it pretty much sucks. So <laughs> I finally found an app, it's called Textra and I'll just open it up here. As you can see, I've already got it completely optimized for myself as someone who's visually impaired. So number one, the menu is large, the icons of your friends and family and whoever you've got on your list are large. You can customize the colors of the top header bar and the buttons. And um, let me just go into this. Uh, there's a there's a buddy uh, app part to it where you can basically message the bot uh, for the app and it will give you tips and whatnot. But this will just give you a bit of an idea. So here's me, uh, there's a, in the middle of the screen there, you'll see it says tip, that's my text message to the bot. It's in a slightly different color, kind of a pinkish color. And then the purpley color is the, the bot uh, messaging, messaging me back. But let me just go into the, the settings here. And this is the, the second thing I love about this is there are, although there are similar apps out there that will let you customize your, your font, they still have a, a small menu, but as you can see, the menu is even large. So you got setting, mark all as red, what's new, hey bot, where you can actually talk to the robot, etc., etc. So when you go into the settings, they've got a few tips here. They've got about, we'll just skip that, upgrade, support, etc., etc. And where, where you want to hone in on is customize look, but I will also mention you can also customize notifications. You can have floating notifications. You can have the notification bring up the text message in large print on your uh, lock screen if you don't mind people being able to see <laughs> your text messages or if you don't want to have the details of the message but you just want to have who it's from, you can have that pop up on your lock screen. Uh, you can have a floating notification there's a bunch of different options for that as well but where we want to really look at is customize the look so you can the I'll start with the one downside because it gets better from here so the screen color you basically you can choose from light you can choose from whoops and I pressed light again you can choose from dark which is kind of like black except for it's just not quite jet black it's almost like a very very dark very 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 dark gray and then you can choose black and it goes just pitch pitch black so I I personally like that one so that's the one downside that's the only downside actually I found so far is that you cannot customize it other than you know black dark 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 gray and white uh, whereas there are some other uh, text messaging apps out there such as Yada for example where you can uh, customize the background so that that's the only downside but I don't mind because I actually prefer my my background to be black anyway so for me it's no big deal now but this is where it gets really cool so you can customize your bubble colors so I've, I've of course chosen Two very similar colors, pink and, and purple, because everyone knows I like pink and purple by now if you've watched enough of my videos. But check this out. There is like a whole rainbow. Let, let me go all the way to the beginning. So you've got, as you're going through it here, they got all these little bubbles and you just simply swipe from right to left or left to right to go through the different bubbles. So you can find, and note that, let me just go back a quick second here. Note that at the beginning here, it's automatically made the text black 
on orange. But then when we go to the next one, it decides that no white is a better contrast. So then it changes it. And I love that about this, that it, it seems to choose the perfect uh, font color depending on you know what color of bubble you're selecting so you've got all over the rainbow a whole bunch of different blues whole bunch of different oranges i'll just quickly go through these colors here you've got sort of bluey greens here we got there we're in the greens now still in the greens then we got yellow and then we're kind of back into some orangey-ish kind of halfway between orange and yellow. Then we got some reds here. I think that's gray. Gray-ish, browny something, something icky. Um, <laughs> now we're into some blues and then we got white and we've even got kind of a, kind of a gray-ish color. It's not quite black. So this is awesome. I love the fact that you can completely customize. I mean, the, the next best thing is that, you know, how you can choose from like uh, when they have the color palette and you can totally just, you know, uh, select on a, on a square where what color you want and really customize it. But this is, this is the next best thing. Like they've got so many colors that you're sure to find a color that suits your needs. So let's, let's choose orange will make it a funky kind of thing so that is the um that is the sending bubble and then you just tap on pardon me that was the receiving bubble i think i said earlier it was sending but i meant uh, receiving sorry now we're going to select the sending bubble so you just tap on the right hand side of the screen here at the top and you just repeat the process so why don't we make this a greeny kind of color we'll do halloween early orange and green And then you just tap uh, to save and there you go. Now you can also customize, as I mentioned earlier, the theme. So you just tap on theme colors and it's got the primary and the accent color. So, and note that these headings are in large print as well. So I just love this because so many apps, they let you make your text large, but the font within the app is still small, which kind of defeats the purpose. If you need large text, you need large text, right? So, um, Let's say I wanted to, let's see where the red go. Why don't we make a, okay, I, oops. Okay, I think that's, is that red? Kind of looks orangey red to me, but we'll select it. So then all of a sudden you see the top bar at the top here, all of a sudden has changed. And then we go back in there again. I accidentally went out of there. Then you can tap on accent and let's say, let's say I want to make a, let's make a blue accent. And then you just select, sorry, I said select save, but select, it actually says okay. Helps them actually read my screen. Oh, that just looks nasty, but <laughs> you know, for the purpose of our demonstration, just to show you all the cool colors, and you notice now the word styles down here at the, near the bottom third of the screen is now in blue. So uh, where the top is this kind of orangey red kind of color. So, uh, but it's, it doesn't end there. You can also, um, you can also change the app icon. Now I, I'm not going to change it right now because then it will restart my app, but I'll just show you. So it's got all, so basically similar to the colors that you can choose for the bubbles, same sort of deal with the app icon. And then you just simply uh, restart it. And if you've got your, if you've got your uh, your app icon on your home screen or one of your folders, you will have to go back into the app drawer and re-add it uh, because it basically has to replace it. So just a heads up on that and that's why the app restarts. Continue on with the customization. We've got bubble styles as well. So a lot more, about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six six different styles to choose from they're not hugely different from each other but you can see there's kind of uh, 
There's ones with slightly rounded edges, ones with more square edges, ones with sort of wavy pointy edges where there's a little blurb probably pointing to who is talking. So you get a, you know, a bunch of different choices there, which is nice. And then you can also customize your emojis, which is awesome. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five different ways you can customize your emojis. So they give a few examples here. There's a smiley and a panda bear. I need to use my magnifier to see what the heck is next beside it. A rocket, a <laughs> the little turd guy, and then there's a present. So <laughs> you can uh, choose which version that suits your fancy. But I think that is just awesome. I laughed so hard when I saw that the first time. And uh, let's see what else can I tell you. Oh, and then there's the, f oh, how can I forget the font size? So on my Samsung, the system font is actually bigger than the Textra font. So I've chosen the system font by default, but I'm just gonna hit cancel because I'm already at system font, but you can make it up to 150% of the text size. So pretty big it's not quite as big as the um the font on the default um app for samsung but i find because the contrast it just seems like it's a lot better because you have so many different uh choices of colors rather than this kind of black text on this blue or black text on yellow you can have white text on whatever color you want or black text on whatever color you want etc so Pretty, pretty cool. And um, just trying to think if there's anything else I could, do, could tell you. So that's pretty much it as far as the customizability for a visual impairment goes. There's a bunch of other customization features as well. Like I said, the floating widget, and there's actually a setting in here to help per, per, protect you from that uh, stage fright virus that's going on out there. And uh, so tons of stuff. There's group chat. Oh, one th cool thing, and this is actually uh, good for if you're visually impaired. You can set, set it so that when you send a text message, it takes a few seconds to actually send it. So if you realize by mistake that, you, oh my God, I just texted something to my mother when I meant to text it to my boyfriend or my girlfriend, you can cancel it. <laughs> so every once in a while you accidentally text the, or message the wrong person. So that's a handy little feature you, can, you have there and you can turn it on or off. So I really, really like that. So very nice app. It's completely free and I love the fact that it's got this built-in bot so that you can you know, text for tips or help and whatnot. So check it out. It's available on the Google Play Store for your Android device. And if there are any other text messaging apps you want me to check out, uh, please be sure to drop a comment below. I have a few other apps in the works that I plan to do videos about as far as text messaging goes. So thanks very much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Here at Circle of the Blind Mice are bringing these videos because I believe technology enriches the lives of those of us with visual impairments. My mission is to help you learn tech, use tech, and embrace tech. Please share this video to help spread the word to your fellow blind mice. And if you're new here, please subscribe for new videos every Saturday. Thanks for watching.